happy. You know what you should be? You you know what you should be happy? You should be happy that I'm a real. G At the end of the day, I'm a real gang. So one thing I'm not gonna do to you ever is entertaining them. Your ops that be in my DMs, trying to suck my. And I don't want you dead because my kids love you. My kids love you down. So I will never do that. And I really follow gangster. I really follow street codes. I will never. Hey, yeah. So you guys see the title. And this video is very important for me to make because especially with everything going on right now with Cardi. And I know I have discussed Cardi B on my channel before. I am not going to do a full video uh, dedicated to her dealings with Offset right now. I wish her the best. I hope that she will, you know, manage and, and sort this and, and be okay. I don't even know if she's still going through her divorce. Um, but even aside from Cardi B's, I don't know if they're breaking up right now. I don't know. Um, but even aside from that breakup, I guess, um, and other breakups, and as a former crash out myself, Oh, child mindset and change of perception and self-concept is like literally everything because it does not ever have to be that bad you know i wish i could have stumbled upon a video like this um during some of my many breakups i mean hell i wish i would have stumbled upon a video like this when i was a teenager okay all right, because that's where everything started, right? And then just like the immaturity and mishandling of situations. And this video was is for my women. I am going to really continue to make a conscious effort to gear my content towards like women, female empowerment, and just like advice, but also like girl time, like we hang over here. And it's always been like that, but now it's like with a more focused spin on it, right? I understand, and this is insane coming from me, trust, but looking back at my previous behavior and looking at where I'm at now, and granted, I am coming from a different perspective because my life has just gotten so much more beautiful now, even despite, you know, whatever circumstances. And like, so it doesn't like phase me as much, but also my mindset is different. And I do carry myself differently now. Um, that I'm a parent. Ladies, I understand breakups hurt. I understand that a lot of men out here are dirty. People are calculated. People can be horrendous. Like, people can really be dark. I am not saying that whatever has happened to you that's hurt you is okay. This is not me saying that. But every breakup every i mean hell fallout of friendships and relationships it does not have to automatically send you into survival mode and or your your masculinity i do feel for women like myself like i i, I feel for women for black women um especially black women who grow up you know in the hood or whatever and you have those kind of roots to you. I understand where we get some of our masculinity from because sometimes in those environments, and unfortunately, I hate that this happens to us as young girls and teenagers, but when we are teens and when we are young girls, we sometimes have to be in survival mode because there is no support at home. Um, and there's no one, nothing guiding us uh, to some of these crazy schools some of these crazy bus routes, right? Like, and I, and my heart, like my, my heart, like, I understand, I get it. And I'm making this video today because do you know that, and I know Cardi B is not black, but she's still a young woman from the hood and she has those roots and those wounds and it's it shows more and more with this whole offset thing and unfortunately you guys understand the argument the conversation is no longer about offset and this is what happens when you allow these breakups these toxic people 
to penetrate your energy so much to your core to where they trigger your survival mode, they trigger your masculinity, and you're just out here wild. And yes, I understand that to to you it could be fighting back. I I, I understand that. Like I bro, I really wish I would have had this mindset literally like a few years ago. Because if I did, if it would have dawned on me, um that I was actually acting out more wounds than what was triggered, I would have governed myself accordingly. And it's it's painful to see as a woman who's made it to the other side because when I see TikToks of girls, like girl, the girls will record themselves keying their ex's car, girl. They're, they're like incriminating themselves. The girls are recording themselves losing it throwing his stuff out the window like and it's like as a person who understands where those emotions come from it does not have to be like that oftentimes in life especially as women who grow up and who grew up in those jaded environments and those um like hood type environments we are already depleted of a lot of resources we are already depleted of mental health care we are already depleted of um access to learning how to be better ourselves and we are not protected right so we have to be our own protectors and providers to a certain extent and it sucks but once you get to the other side of that once you grow into adulthood um and once you love yourself more and prioritize yourself more you'll see that all of that acting out, all of that masculine, like toxic, like eye for an eye energy, all that survival mode. Well, now I'm, I got to do it on my own. Like, you know, yeah, you can do it on your own, but it's how you present it. It doesn't always have to be that deep, dark, sad, triggered story. It really doesn't because there's power in remaining feminine there's power in remaining calm there's power in staying within your energy and not allowing situations circumstance or anything to pull you out of yourself or to trigger you so deeply to your core to where you are acting outside of yourself and this is another just honest fact you know how I said that this whole thing between Cardi and Offset, it's no longer about Offset. Cardi is exposing to us her deep triggered wounds and I hate seeing it. And it's also like with the type of sick world that we're in, right? Um, obviously she's a good and grown woman, but if th there's predators everywhere. So how we might think in a very naive way that by venting our feelings to the internet and having these trigger responses and having that masculine tone and being aggressive and be like, well, I'm gonna spill my own tea. I have totally said that on my channel before. And girl, it was not worth, <laughs> it wasn't worth the time, the energy, or just like the, the care. And it's sad because now by giving those triggered responses, you are showing people how to mess with you because not everyone has genuine intentions you are putting on a full-on display of how you can be hurt and that is the most dangerous place to be as a woman when you are already hurt you are out here like vulnerable prey if you're already hurt by a man who's who's really crushed you, really, really tried his best to get this kind of a reaction out of you. And then you going out here to the world, like open prey. I'm so hurt. That's like walking into the middle of the street saying, I'm so hurt. I'm so, and we all know what happens to women sometimes in, in public, in real life, when they're out here and they need help and they're so hurt. We sometimes don't even see them or hear from them again. Ladies, guard yourself, your feminine energy, your femininity is divine and needs to always be protected, even if you need to protect yourself. And sometimes protecting yourself means hurting 
a bit in silence or around loved ones only, but don't be out here crashing out to the world. And I am saying this as a former and recovered crash out. Because now when I see this type of content or um, even when I have some of these discussions about, you know, people who my friends know and stuff like that. And I'm just like, oh, man, dude, I wish I could talk to her because it's not worth it. There sometimes can be so much more chaos and and just mishaps that happen when you put that type of stuff on blast. And it always doesn't have to be that survival masculine story. You know, not everything in this life lasts forever. Okay, endings do happen. People have disagreements. People go their separate ways. Sometimes women do have to up and leave to establish the boundary and to value themselves, walk away because I refuse to be treated as anything less than the prize, period. That's just period. Um, you know, I mean, when, when you know, <laughs> women walk away, I understand it can be like for various reasons and sometimes like it can vary and girl, even, the slightest move of disrespect like I'm out <laughs> like no um yes people go their separate ways and yes you can leave at the slightest hint of disrespect whatever it is but it doesn't have to be that narrative man because sometimes we hurt ourselves by the stories we tell ourselves if I continuously replay in my mind and now I'm online and I'm replaying the same narrative that um, said X is a terrible person, um, all this, and I'm saying it, I'm saying it, I'm saying it. Do you know that the more you feed that type of energy, the more you put that into the world and our universe is like always listening. Do you know that the more you feed that into the universe, the more you're going to get that in your reality? And if there's any hint of you that wants to repair that relationship, that wants to, I don't know, Find even a better partner and not a predator out here, okay? Because you, we attract, you know, what we put out. Uh, if you want to even remain neutral with anyone or, or you know, how some people reconnect down the line. Like, you guys have seen me reconnect with people, you know, and I'm still in, in very, you know, good spaces with certain people or whatever. And there's boundaries there. The more you feed those toxic narratives, the more it's going to show up in your life. And it's going to be harder for you to find safe relationships. It's going to be harder for you to kind of dead that narrative because now it's all around you because of how many times you repeated it. And the more you do that, you are severing and you're damaging that even if you don't want the person back, you're still doing so much excessive damage all because you're hurt and you are having a hard time managing your emotions and you're having a hard time gaining your self-control and you're not protecting your energy. And I unfortunately am speaking from so much experience. You know, even like on TikTok, cause like I'm on mom talk, right? Like I hate to see the narratives of some single moms and it's so like toxic bro like and i'm just like posting about this every day going live about this every day all day is not helping your situation and let alone having a family because regardless of what happens between two people who've come together and have had a child you all still had that child your behavior reflects and it will affect that child. So somebody somewhere has to consider the child and, and get their act together and be the example, even if you don't know how. In life, we have to often ask ourselves, how does my behavior affect others? How would me doing this affect my young one? How would me doing this affect my ex? How would me doing this is this conducive to my environment and to my growth right now? And not as an intent, if you really sit with yourself, you're gonna realize it's not. I hate even scrolling on TikTok and seeing like, girl, like some of the single moms will like record the phone calls with their child's father and they're like recording these arguments and like saying, yeah, we got him, you guys. He doesn't even know I'm live right now. He's exposed. 
let alone and some of girls some of them be in court doing this and i just i literally i i think i cringe i don't know if this is cringing like i i don't know you know i'm getting older so i you know i've fallen like whatever with the terms but it feels embarrassing and knowing that i at one point had public live behavior just like that just like that it's embarrassing and you're hurting yourself more that's why sometimes when you do these things it takes longer to heal that's why when you do these things the more you might try to push for understanding and all of this, the, the more it's going to be like, no. And because you've already openly displayed your wounds and what triggers you, we live in a sick world, people are going to purposefully now set up accounts, their own live streams even. I mean, girl, they be live streaming balling on TikTok, which I don't even understand how they do that. I, like. YouTube's one thing, like TikTok's like its whole other like world. Like I don't even know how they do that now, right? Um, people will set up like live streams, like trying to trigger you while live. Like people will try to toxically engage with you to get those reactions again and again and again. And if you don't know how to cut it, you don't know how to set the boundary and you don't know how to protect yourself or your energy, you're going to be in for a whole hell of a lot of pain. And it's so preventable. Love yourself enough to not keep causing yourself pain. If you truly love yourself, why would you aid to your detriment in any shape or form? And, you know, you know, I've come back to my channel and you guys know I, I just like post whatever now, but like, I literally, now that my days are, are, are filled with so many different other things um, between my loved ones, obviously my child uh, going out, still, you know, doing my thing now, doing like more family outings. And I still like watch Shira. I still love Dylan James. Um, I still try to catch up on Cluster B and like all my favorite YouTubers. And I still try to make time for like my favorite content. And even when I'm scrolling on TikTok, just trying to get ideas for content here, it's like, my day is so full, I literally can't see myself. I, I, I don't know how I did it back then when um, I was being a former crash out. Like my day is so full now, I literally, like I can't fathom. That's how far disconnected I've become. And I want to see other women do this i want to see all women become their higher selves and believe truly to their core that they are the prize and treat themselves as such and leave the first sign of bullshit just leave you don't have to sit there and tolerate anything any type of disrespect especially not any type of abuse even if it's a disagreement i mean walk away give give it some time cool off you know like Sometimes when people get divorces or whatever, they go into separation first to figure that out, to see if it's gonna work out or not. Like there's ways to manage these things to where it doesn't have to be a complete chaotic storm. And it really pains me now. Like it literally pains me to see the way some breakups really play out online. And then of course, like, You'll see the audiences like choosing sides. Like that's what's happening right now with like Cardi being offset. And like, this is the same cycle that they have caught their audience up in for the last, you know, I don't know how many years. And now that I'm a mother, I'm never gonna um, criticize Cardi's parenting because I do think that she's a fantastic, beautiful mother. She always has been. But now that I'm a mother, I, 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 I pain for her whole family. Even if she is getting her lick back and she's in her villain era and she's doing all these things, people are hurt. The toxicity simply will just spread 
from Cardi and Offset to the audience, to the babies, to the family members, to the, the loved ones. And believe it or not, your actions do have consequences. And even if your loved ones don't tell you to your face that sometimes your toxic behavior may hurt them, do trust it affects them in some way, shape or form. And you'll find out later and then that adds more pain. It just adds the cycle. It just is, it's so unnecessary. If you are a woman, and I understand that we are very emotional beings and we go through it, we really do. Um, from the up and down, you know, hormones to, you know, adjusting and changing. I, I want more women, young women especially, because you can save yourself the younger you are from ever even having to embarrass yourself and learn the hard way like how I have, you know. Um, these overreactions are coming from a deeper place than the person who's causing them. And until you address it within yourself and adjust your self-concept and adjust your self-worth and your self-esteem, and until you truly start to believe you deserve more you will attract and receive more and better you deserve better you need to be around better people environments until you truly believe and embody that in your entire being from top to bottom to your inner core you're not gonna stop hurting lashing out at that person cursing out that person fighting that person keying that person's car cheating on them while pregnant <laughs> girls girls we gotta we gotta do better like girls like it's not going to make you feel better it won't you have to spend that painful time alone and reflect and figure out where the hell you went wrong and when you do that that's when you're starting to start getting the answers that you're looking for and then getting yourself into therapy counseling and you know getting yourself around the right people around the right environment and doing what's best for you that's when life will change you have to change if you want to stop the pain I just had to make this video I just had to get that off my chest because I I was starting to feel disgusted by the whole Cardi offset thing and I don't like feeling like that because I'm not trying to be judgmental. I just really wish her the best. I just hope that this can eventually stop. I mean, girl, I mean, at this point, where's the album? I mean, I know you're dropping singles. It's like, girl, I mean, the album, that, that those things take time and energy. Like, if we spent our time and energy more divinely and started nurturing the things that we want to create, love. It's like where focus goes, energy flows. Like, don't you wanna use your feminine energy to create something more and better for yourself? Start a, bu a business, start a YouTube channel, start you know, a, a YouTube channel where you're doing something positive, not cussing folks out 24-7, trust, because those channels never last. <laughs> Speaking from experience, give yourself the freedom to be yourself on your channel and still, um, you know, make whatever income you can. Now, that's true freedom. Um, <sighs> Treat yourself, love yourself, be kind and good to yourself. All right. So I love you guys. I could rant about this like for literally ever. I almost like thought about, you know, I'm like, do I want to go live about this? Like, what do I want to do? Da -da -na 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 -na. I'm like, no, I'll just make a video. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to make a video. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Mwah.